welcome to another short episode of Hunter Gatherer Cooking where today I'm going to be going back to the farm to see Matty at New Manor Farm and he's going to be breaking down some uh, ribs I believe and uh, that's going to show you guys exactly where ribeyes etc come from so um, yeah I hope you are enjoying these please 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 hit the subscribe button when you watch this and, uh, and give it a thumbs up as well. I hope you uh, are enjoying these, but if there is anything that you want to see from the channel or indeed Matt at New Manor Farm Shop, then um, just pop a comment below and, and let us know. Hello mate, what are we doing today? Right, uh, so following on from the last video that we've done for you guys with the rump and loin, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do, I've got two four ribs here. So this was, if you remember in the video, uh, near the end of the tomahawk end, this is where it ends off. So as you can see, sort of where your tomahawk would have been a bit longer off the other end but this is where your ribeyes come from so this is your traditional rib of beef uh, a lot of people have these at christmas you can see it's nice and dried on the end um obviously from the dry aging process of being in the fridge hanging on the bone maturing the old-fashioned way we're a strong believer of just just leaving something alone to, to make something quite perfect uh, so just by leaving it alone obviously we dry age it so that's your traditional rib of beef uh, so a lot of people at christmas have you know a single rib to between Two, two to four people and then obviously we can go two rib, four rib or if you're lucky enough to have a load of people come around for a dinner party, cook the whole thing up. Uh, what we can do for them when you come in, if you don't want to have it, because also you can see there's quite a lot of bone on there with the blade bone, uh, what we can do is something called chining, where we come down the back, chine that back bone off and then we leave the individual ribbits and it becomes a carvery rib. Uh, so obviously what we're going to do today, I'll show you where your rib of beef comes from. Uh, your rib beef, your ribeye comes from. So what we're doing, we're going to come down this the back, back bone of this on the on this rib beef. I'm quite excited to see what this one comes out. It's been maturing for a while on the bone. Ribeye is 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 well, it's my personal favourite cut. I like to think most most uh, proper butchers would agree with me that it's the most most tasty or tastiest uh, steak out there because of the fat content on there. So what what we're doing is just freeing up the meat off that back bone there. So obviously left hole is your traditional rib, perfect for your for your Sunday roasts, especially at Christmas time and Easter. So that's your, that's your backbone removed off. Now there's a gristle going down the back of here, I don't know if you can see that in the video, there's a bit of a gristle there. We call that the paddy whack in this trade. Um, dead easy to get the ribeye off, run your knife down the back of that, that gristle. And when I open that up, there's a seam. Every animal's got seams. And when we free that up and cut that straight out, that's your rump cap. We can get a little bit of uh, dice out of that, or if we trim them up, we can ro roll them up and do like a pot roast sort of joint with one of those. And that there, that is where your ribeye steak comes from. So you don't get a lot of it. Uh, that's why the price of ribeye is also quite high. And what we do, a lot of people put off with the dry aging, but what we do, we, we face the dry age off. That will go straight into the bone bin, because what we don't want to do, that will that will ruin any meat or any dish that you have. So we, we lose that in the, in the process. And if you're going to have a steak, Cut them nice and thick. Yeah. Look at that! Look at the beautiful marbling that. This is off. This is one of our Angus uh, ribs. This is. So you've got your beautiful marbling. Forget about your wagyu. Keep keep it local. Have something local. Dry aged. That's your ribeye there. So that's what I have. Beautiful ribeye. Loads of marbling. Just keep it simple. Salt and pepper on the barbie. Fantastic. So obviously we talked about your tomahawks in the last video. So what I'm going to show you where your coke de boeuf comes from. So your tomahawk was off the sirloin end, but we're going to turn this one into your coke de boeuf. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort of do what we would when we would chine your river beef. So you're just marking the back of it, just until we break through those rib bones. Now so the beef's quite, their bones are quite strong on these, but. Right, so we saw down the back of there, so that's, that's what we call chining. I'll let you, uh, so see how so we're trying trying through the back of there and the Wibby bowling knife, just gonna keep that nice and tight to that backbone, just by cutting through there. That's so without cutting my hand. <laughs> we'll do that on a live video. <laughs> so there we go, coming down that backbone. See so keeping the flesh on the back of that rib. So we cut that off. We're going to remove the blade bone now. Right. 
looking a bit crap. Right, so that's the blade bone coming out now. What a lot of butchers would do is I'd leave that cap on the back of them and when they French trim it. So, but what we do here, because I'm a strong believer of, if you're going to do it properly, is do your coat to buff properly. Come down through the gristle, where the cap was, you're going to pull the cap off, because obviously all the meat in that cap is best sort of cooked like low and slow. So we remove ours off here. Even a little bit of a tail on the end of it. And then what I'll do is trim that down the bones to free up the same sort of thing, a bit of French trim on the end. So there we go, there's another cap there. And then by trimming between each of the rib bones again. See so none of the meat would be wasted, they're all going for mincing burgers or our new sausage which is a beef and buckcomb ale sausage. So again cleaning the bones up nice and clean. Get them the bones always look tidily. Clean up our bit of trim. The same as what we did in the last video. Just because you want a little holding string. Turn the over. And what we'll do is put one either side of the rib. Doing the, the butcher's knot again. Four cup the bus to a whole whole rack. So all we've done we've French trimmed it, all the gristles have been removed, all the caps have been removed. So you're gonna get the best best products there. Get rid of your twine. And like we said before, see this face is quite quite a fresh face there, so we'll remove the dry aged face again. And then what you do, favourite part again, cut through the riblets to reveal one coat de buff. So one cut to buff with loads of beautiful marbling again. Another cut to buff. And cut down there again. And then we saw that away. Four beautiful coat to buff. So your coat to buff is basically your rib on the bone, nice little handle there, perfect for sharing. So it's the, the other end of your tomahawk. So you've seen where your, your, your rib of beef comes from, you've seen your ribeye steaks, which is my personal favourite. And then look at that. See that marbling on the camera there? That'll just melt in the mouth there. Absolutely fantastic. So there's your coat to buff, guys. You can get those in store from us at any time. If you can't see them in the window, just say, hey Butch, I fancy one of your amazing coat to buffs that you see on Hunters Gathering uh, YouTube channel. We'll prepare one for you. Uh, if you like what you've seen, guys, please, 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 Click uh, subscribe, click the like bu button, uh, share with your family and friends. Um, and if there's anything you guys want to see, you want to see me prepare something, you, 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 you know, you, you, oh, where does this come from? Write in the comments, Alex will pick the comments up and, and we'll, we'll demo anything you want. So uh, get thinking, get, get sort of subscribing, get liking, write in the comments below if you like it or not. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks, Matt. God, that was absolutely amazing to watch that. Uh, I come away from these just thinking, how is that even possible to just know all this? But it's years of training. So again, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Uh, and as I said at the beginning, if there's anything that you want to see done on here uh, by myself or from Matty at New Manor Farm Shop, then just let us know.